Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have very interesting, and in the same way, this is a very tricky algebra question. We need to simplify this expression. So we have square root, square root of 25 minus square root of 24. And a lot of students might be thinking, I don't know why, but they say, okay, we have square root of 25 minus square root of 24, we have 1, 25 minus 24, we have 1, and square root of 1 equal to 1. And a lot of students solve this question like that, but this is incorrect. We need to know how to solve this question correctly and step by step. So right now I try to under explain you why this is a wrong answer and how can we solve this question mm, correctly. First of all, square root of 25 equal to 5. So let's start with that. So we have square root of, so we have square root of, <coughs> or square root of 25 equal to 5. So we have 5 minus square root of 24, square root of 24. So this is our first first step. What we're going to do next? This square root of 24, we can, uh, so we can write this 24 as 6 times 4. So let's try to do this. Let's try to express this 24 in a different way. So we have square root of 5 minus square root of 24 can be written as square root of 6 times 4. 6, 6 times 4. But according to a basic property, if we're talking about square root property, when we have a square root of a times b, we can split it as square root of a times square root of b. And right now let's apply this, um, this rule, this property right here. So we can write it as square root of 6 times square root of 4. As a result, what do we have? Square root of 5 minus square root of 6 times square root of 4. But everyone know about square root of 4. Square root of 4 equal to 2. So as a result, we're going to have the next expression. Square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 6. 2 square root of 2 square root of 6. We can simplify a little bit our 6. Not like simplify. We can express it in a different way. We can write instead of this 6, we can write 2 times 3. Okay, because 6 is equal to equal 2 times 3. So we can express this 6 as 2 times 3. So let's do this right now. Square root of 5 minus 2 times square root of 2 times 3. And according to the same logic, according to the same property, we can split this 2 and uh, square root of 2 times 3. We can write it as square root of 2 times square root of 3. So square root of 5 minus 2 times square root of uh, 3. Let's write the square root of 3 on the first position and times square root of 2. So I really hope you understand it. What we're going to do next? Instead of this 5, let's write uh, 3 plus 2. It changed nothing for us because 5 equal to 3 plus 2. So let's write uh, 3 plus 2. So square root of 3 plus 2 plus 2 and minus 2 square root of 3 times square root of 2. So I hope you understand this step. So instead of this 5, we just write uh, 3 plus 2. And right now, instead of this uh, 3 plus 2 minus 2 square root of 3 square root of 2, let's write this 2 on the right position. So on the after this uh, 2 square root of 3 times square root of 2. So as a result, what do we have? Square root of 3 on the second position, we're going to write minus 2 square root of 3 times square root of 2. And in the end, we're going to write this, we're going to write this too. So plus 2, plus 2. Okay, what we're going to do next? Instead of this 3 and 2 right here, let's write the next expression, because 3 can be written as square root of, uh, square root of 3 to the second power. We can write it like that. And in the same way, let's do the same thing with the 2. So 2 equal to square root of 2 the second power. So instead of this 2, we're going to write this one. Instead of this 3, we're going to write this in our, with this one. So let's do this. So square root of, instead of this 3, we're going to write square root of 3 to the second power. So square root of 3 to the second power minus 2 square root of 3 times square root of 2. And instead of 2, we're going to write this one, square root of 2 to the second power. So plus square root of 2 to the to the second power and that's why mm, why i do these steps because a lot of students might be thinking why i do this because we have a more complicated expression we have a square root we have square but what we had in the beginning in the beginning we had very easy expression for example this one five minus square root of 24 a lot of students ask me why i do this but if you look closer right now okay let's look closely at my expression what we have right here we have square root of three to the second power minus two square root of three square root of two plus square root of two to the second power. And uh, on the bottom of this, I want to write this formula, a minus b square. I'm going to write it on, on, from here. So a minus b square. Okay, this formula looks like that. Everyone know about it. This is our a square minus 2ab to ab and plus b square. And where, when I read this formula, when I read this formula on the bottom of this expression, a lot of students, they understand why I 
looks like expand my expression so we have like more complicated expression but if you look closely for example square root of three this is our a so we have a a square really great we have two and we have uh, this our a square so we have also our a square root of three and we have our b square and we have also our b so this is our this is a correct expression for us if we're talking about um, like uh, writing in a different way so we can write this all this expression what do we have right here we can write it as a difference of two squares okay extremely important part I, part I really hope you you understand it so instead of this all of this expression we can write because we have absolutely the same thing according to a general formula and according to exact case what do we have in our case according to a basic formula we can write it as a minus b uh, to the second power so we, ha we have as a result a minus b to the second power a equal to square root of 3 minus b equal to square root of 2 to the second to the second power and what we're going to do next of course a lot of students might be thinking when we have uh, for example square root of for square everyone know about it that we when we have a square root sign and the, this square we can easily cancel it everyone know about it this is equal to four and for example when we have huge values like 100 square when we take when we have square root sign we're gonna cancel it of course yeah this is a correct way but when we have expression a correct way to uh, solve it is to write absolute value because when we have for example square root of a square a correct way to express it is to write absolute value of a of course uh, absolute value can be this expression can be positive negative then we can do this after uh, this step but a correct way to express this is to write with the absolute value so this is equal to absolute value of square root of 3 minus square root of 2 and right now let's uh, try to uh, consider let's try to figure out um, uh, the the sign of this expression because if this expression is positive then we need to put uh, then we can easily cancel this absolute value brackets but if, if this expression is negative as a result we need to change the position we need to put minus before our parentheses in our case square root of 3 is greater than square root of 2 so this expression is positive so as a result we have positive expression square root of 3 minus 2 as a result this is equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 yeah we have square root right here so this is our our answer our answer to this uh, to this question and if you thought about it because a lot of students mm, think that every time they're gonna have a positive value but just imagine so this is our answer everything is great but just imagine when you have for example this expression uh, like few notes from me because a lot of students mm, don't know about it so when we have for example square root of uh, let's write it as square root of for example let's go with square root of 5 minus square root of a something like that to the second power and a lot of students might be thinking that we can easily cancel it we can easily cancel the square root sign we can easily cancel this too and this is equal to square root of 5 minus square root of 8 a lot of students uh, might be thinking that this is a correct way uh, if you have one constant this is a correct way in our case we have an expression so we reject it a correct way as i said before we need to put absolute value brackets so we have absolute value square root of 5 minus square root of 8 square root of 8 yeah we have something like that and right here square root of 5 is less than square root of 8 so our absolute value this expression right here is negative so we need to put minus square root of 5 minus square root of 8 and as a result from here we have square root of 8 minus square root of 5 as you can see a really big difference i'm not gonna lie a really big difference so we can't cancel it this is a wrong way and a lot of students don't pay attention to this but this is an extremely important moment uh, in our case it's, it's great that we have a positive value so we can easily cancel it without any without any problems for us but in our case uh, we can easily do that but uh, generally we need to put absolute value brackets of course maybe in uh, in 99 uh, percent of cases you do need to put absolute value brackets because this expression all the time is positive in our case this is extremely important part so i really hope you you understand it so the main idea to solve this type of question when you have square root of uh, expression is to create a square inside the square root sign and when you create it as you can see right here i just creating step by step step by step and at this point we can easily say that okay we create a difference of squares maybe a sum of squares doesn't matter so in our case we have a difference of squares so as you can see step by step i try to split it i try to expand it i try to write this five as two, uh, two plus three because i see right here square root of three square root of two maybe somehow we can group it and as you can see at this point we can say okay everything is great 
mm, when we are talking about uh, this formula, we are, can find something as a common, and as a result, we can write it as as a formula, which helps us a lot because then we can easily cancel it. We can write it absolute value and everything, everything is great. So our answer to this question, let's write it. So our answer, so square root of square root of 25 minus square root of 24 is equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2. And maybe a lot of students know these table cases because uh, square root of 3 is equal to 1 point. Uh, 732. If you're talking about approximately answer, maybe maybe you don't need it, but uh, we know a little bit about these values. So 1.414, for example, square root of 2, and we can say that this approximately equal to uh, 0. Point, what do we have right here? 317, something like that. 3317, something like that. We're talking about approximately answer, so this is this is a great thing. So I really hope you understand my explanation. I really hope you understand this uh, this solution. And of course, you can also write a question down into the comment section, write your notes about this question down into the comment section. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.